jog down memory lane and remember the days when you, as a, a young musician, budding musician, were actually looking up to pianists like mm. Oliver Jones and Laurent Desmarais. Yeah, I still look up. <laughs> How did these musicians inspire you? Um, oh my God, they did in so many different ways. First, uh, the creativity that they they had in their own different way. Like Lorraine is very different from Oliver, from James Gelfman. I remember mm -hmm. going to see James Gelfman a lot. And uh, just the way they were playing, uh, interacting with the, the, the musicians. I just learned, you learn a lot from listening and seeing how people work together. Like one of my favorite places was L'Art du Temps in Montreal. And I would go there and I'd be like, you know, this close to the musicians. And I would see how they interact with, the other, with, with each other, how they listen and how they would play. And I would go two nights in a row to see how how different they would play. I guess from seeing different shows, I kind of learned what I really wanted. Yes. Very, very heavy agenda. Yes. How do you find time to juggle the many projects you're undertaking? Uh, last year I thought it was uh, really hard to do, especially with my album. I was doing a radio show five days a week, a tour in Quebec and Europe. It was a lot. It was too much. But music is not... It's not a, you know, sometimes you've got like uh, flows, uh, ups and downs, and you have to take it. And when the train comes by, you have to take it and just jump in it. It might go fast for a while, but then, you know, you have to go through it. So. Um, I try to, uh, I don't know, I put my energy, first like I put my energy in projects that I love, so that helps because I'm not, no gigs I do that I don't like or the people I work with I don't like, so it helps a lot to find time to do stuff. Mm -hmm. 